Hi. Yesterday I went to Alta and I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin and they gave me the color 2.0. And I'm going to do a first impressions video on this. I already have the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. And I want to see how I think this compares to that or vice versa. Um, all I have on my face is moisturizer. And I did my eye makeup because I did a little mini tutorial on the eye look today. And I'm going to be applying it with the Expert Face Brush. So let's see how this goes. I'm excited to try this. Um, hopefully the color is right. The last time the color matched me at Sephora, it wasn't right. But we'll see. It looks pretty good. This is very thin. So I'm going to apply this on my face. I don't want to use too much. And I am going to set this with a, um, a setting powder because I set all my makeup with a setting powder and I really want to uh, do it like I normally would because that's how I'm going to do it, you know, if I were to buy it and wear it. I love first impressions videos because it really tells you a whole bunch of they like the product right away and how they feel about it and... They're my, one of my favorite videos to watch. So I'm just going to blend this in. Um, right away I can tell that this is way less coverage than the Nearly Naked by Revlon. And it doesn't, it's not as drying. Um, I've noticed that because it's really, really cold and wintry here, that the uh, Revlon Nearly Naked is definitely a dry foundation, but it is definitely also medium coverage. Now, this is going on really nice, and it looks just like my skin, but better. Um... But it's not really covering up anything. Like, it evened out my skin tone. But it's not really covering up. Like, I have a lot of, like, freckly pigmentation on my cheeks. And I have a sunspot here. Um, but it definitely, it evened the skin out. But it's not covering my redness or anything like that. Um... I have to say, though, I like the texture of this better than the, I have a piece of fuzz in my face, than the Revlon's version. Um, this one isn't nearly as drying. It feels more moisturizing on the skin. So I'm going to apply a little bit more in certain areas just to see how much more coverage I can get out of it and how buildable it is. So I'm going to put a little on my forehead, some right in here on both sides. I'm going to try to cover up that redness under my nose and on my chin. So we're going to go in with the second coat and see if it's buildable. I'm just going to throw this around. I don't think I've ever <laughs> put my foundation on after my eyeshadow. It's like, it feels like I'm like not doing my whole face. Let's see. This is going to cover up those, that redness under my nose. Oops, sorry. Oh, why do I do that? Um, not really. I mean, it built it up a little bit more, but the redness is definitely, if you can see that, still there. Um, but it has, like, toned it down a little bit. So... I definitely think that I mean it looks nice it does look nice um, so what I have to say about this compared to the Revlon nearly naked the Urban Decay Naked Skin is a lighter formula it's more moisturizing it doesn't have the coverage 
that the Revlon one does, but I do like the finish. If you have problem skin without some concealer, I don't think you're going to be able to get a, you're not going to be able to cover the things you want to cover with this foundation. However, on the other hand, the Revlon Nearly Naked has definitely a solid medium coverage. It will cover um, flaws and blemishes. And the only thing I have to say about that one is that it is a bit drying. So it is 11.39 right now in the morning. And I'm going to see how this wears throughout the day. I'm going to go and put on the rest of my face. And we'll see how it goes. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. I wanted to hop back on real quick, and it is 11.44, so it's only been a couple of minutes since I was on last, but I wanted to show you real quick how it looks with the full face. I just applied no concealer, some blush, some bronzer, a highlighter, and that's it. So I'm going to go on with my day, and I'll pop back in every once in a while and let you know how this turns out. So right now, I like it. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Hi. So I ran to Walmart and came home and I just wanted to do an update. It is now 2.23 in the afternoon. So I've had this on about four hours. And I have to say it looks just as good now as when I put it on. No touch-ups. I don't feel like I need a touch-up. So I'll check back in in a couple hours. I'm going to take a nap and we'll see how it holds up through the napping. All right. See you soon. Bye. Hi, I'm back for one last update, and it is now 718, so I've had this a Naked Skin Foundation on for nearly 8 hours, and I have to say, let me grab my mirror, that it has held up really, really well. I'm highly impressed with this, and actually, other than one sample of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation, which I did not like at all, and when I went to Sephora yesterday, the girl there told me that if you have dry skin, that's not the best foundation for you. So other than that foundation that was high-end, this is the only other foundation that's high-end that I've tried, and I am really impressed with it. Um, the coverage lasted all day, and normally I get oily here and here, and I haven't. I haven't touched up. Um, I took a nap and survived the nap. My hair didn't, but the foundation certainly did. So I really, really like it. I like it much better than the Revlon Nearly Naked. I mean, I like that foundation too, but this wears so much better. Moisturizing, it goes on smoothly, your skin looks flawless. I haven't had to touch it up at all today, which is a huge deal for any foundation that I've ever tried. Very rarely do I ever put on a foundation that I haven't had to touch it up at least once during the day. So overall, I am highly impressed with this. and. Unfortunately for me, I like it, and now I want to buy it, and it's high-end, so. In March, I'm going to a huge Sephora in the city, so I'm guessing I'll probably purchase it there. Um, right in the middle of a no-buy, I'm 10 days in, so there's no way I can get it in February. So, you may end up seeing that in a haul soon, so thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.